Hey there, welcome to how to protect your online store. My name is Emma and today we're gonna to go over three easy ways you can secure your online store. Before we dive in, I wanna give you a quick introduction to Rewind, who we are and what we do. Rewind is a fully automated backup and restore app for your online store. We're the leading backup app for tools like Shopify, BigCommerce, QuickBooks Online, and GitHub. We were founded in 2015 by our two founders, Mike and James, and are based out of Canada's capital city, Ottawa, with employees spread out across the country. We have more than 1,300 five-star reviews across our platforms, and we work with more than 80,000 brands all around the world, like Procter & Gamble, Pampers, and more. It's our mission to back up and protect all cloud data for every small, medium, and large business. And that means we're adding new backup solutions all the time to help give you peace of mind. So if there's a tool you need backed up, don't hesitate to let us know. Now let's dig into why you're really here. Three easy ways to secure your online store. To start, we're gonna talk about passwords and two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication helps ensure that you're protected by adding a second layer of security to your online data. Your password is something you know, while 2FA is something you have. The combination of the two is what helps keep your data secure. So why do you need it? Passwords are compromised all the time. Just a few weeks ago, Facebook and LinkedIn were part of yet another data scraping exercise. It isn't the first and it won't be the last. If you're interested in seeing if your email address or passwords have been compromised in a data breach, there are sites like Have I Been Pwned that will search for your data in the list of recent breaches and let you know if you've been compromised. If you have been compromised, the best thing to do is to change your passwords and set up 2FA. There are different ways to set up two-factor authentication. You may have some sites that send a code to your email address or others will send an SMS text message to your phone but the most secure system is through an authenticator app. This is because your email can still technically be broken into, especially when a lot of us are guilty of using the same password for multiple sites. And on rare occasions, some dedicated hackers have gone so far as to temporarily steal phone numbers to get access to authentication codes. But with an authenticator app, the code is only available on your device. No one can steal it and only you have access to it. To set it up with Shopify, from your admin portal, go to your name in the top right corner, go to manage account, and from there, on the left, you should see security. In that tab, you'll be able to set up two-step authentication. BigCommerce just released the option to set up 2FA with the app Authy, and I encourage you to look into it for your store as well as any other tools you might use. To manage that from your control center, you can go to my profile and then additional authentication. And that brings us to password security. One of the big problems we have with modern passwords is that they're hard to remember, but really easy to crack. Every site requires eight characters, one number, one capital letter, one lowercase letter, a special character, your firstborn child. It's a little absurd. And why does it have to be like that? When we think of people hacking our passwords, we as humans often assume that they're guessing the password, but that's generally not the case. Every password is essentially the code to a combination lock. Combination locks get infinitely more difficult to crack the longer the number is. So for a lock with four numbers, there are around 10,000 possible combinations. For a lock with five numbers, there are 100,000 possible combinations. If a hacker is trying to guess a password, they'll do it through the use of scripts and programs. Those scripts and programs can run through all of the possibilities quickly and efficiently. Because of this, the best thing that you can do is just use a longer password. The longer the password, the more combinations, the less likely you are to be hacked. One of the easiest ways to lengthen your passwords is to use a passphrase rather than a password. Using a series of words is a lot easier to remember, even if you have to mix in some numbers and symbols. But if you're anything like me, you probably use more sites than you can count, and that still leaves you with the problem of trying to remember your passwords and usernames for every single one. That's where password managers come in. There are a lot of options, they all have their perks, and it's really easy to find a free one. LastPass, 1Password, and Bitwarden are all great options. Or if you live and breathe in the Apple ecosystem, their keychain feature is also a great one. Password managers will make it easy for you to use longer passwords without having to worry about remembering them. Any good password manager will give you the option to generate a secure password, and they usually have browser extensions that will autofill all of your information for you, so you don't have to remember a thing, other than the password for your other passwords, that is. Now let's talk about managing who and what has access to your store. 
Let's start with user access. If you have a team of people, you want to make sure that they're able to do their job quickly and efficiently. But something a lot of businesses forget to do is audit the list of users on their store. Life happens, people quit, agencies are brought on and phased out, and it's really easy to forget who had access to what tools. But something we often hear in the data security world is that more often than not, malicious or targeted attacks come from unhappy employees that are looking to get back at the business for one reason or another. Every user that has access to your online store has the power to affect your business, so it's important to make sure that only the essential people have access. And that extends to current employees and team members. We all need certain tools and permissions to do our jobs. As employers, most of us are so careful when we're hiring and we do our best to choose the right people for the job, but something we often forget or don't want to admit is that even the best people make mistakes. We're human. Sometimes we accidentally delete products or change the wrong photo on a listing. It's best for everyone when your user permissions match your team's job description. That way, they are only able to make the mistakes that fit within the responsibilities of their job. The last thing you want is for your staff to accidentally delete essential information and then you have to be the person to clean up the mess. So that brings us to managing the access of third-party apps. One of the best things about running an online store is the flexibility that the App Store and the API connections can offer. It's a great system, but it does come with some risks. At Rewind, we've seen a number of cases where a bug is introduced into these apps and it's sometimes deleted an entire product catalog by mistake. But even without bugs, some tools can be additional surface area that's open for attack. If you use an API to connect external tools with separate login credentials, make sure they're secure. Apply the same rules that we just went through. Because every app that you connect to your store has visibility into some part of your business. And the last thing you want is for your apps to turn against you. Be very selective. Read reviews. Before you install anything on your store, make sure you do your due diligence so that you know how good the app is and you're able to see what problems people might have. Hunt down those one-star reviews and look for themes to understand what people are upset about. If you decide that an app is essential to your business, make sure you always have the latest version installed. The vast majority of apps are connected through the App Store, but if you do have any custom tools that aren't updated through the cloud, make sure they're always up to date to avoid introducing old bugs into your business. And that brings us to the final security measure, automatic backups. A lot of us don't think of backups as a security feature, but it really is. It's a safe way to have an untouched history of your store. So you're free to update your products, experiment with messaging or images, and work with your team without fear of mistakes. But in order for that to be the case, it's important to look for two things in a backup. One, they're automatic, and two, they're consistent. Daily is best. One important thing to remember, and I really wanna make this clear, manual backups just don't work in today's world. Tech has enabled us as individuals and as businesses to move quickly. And that means that if you're backing up your data manually, you will inevitably fall behind, whether it's because you run out of storage or you simply forget to export your CSV file for the day, it's simply not manageable. And that doesn't even get into all the time it takes to dig through all of those old CSV files. With the tools we use today, backups need to be automatic. And automatic backups are literally your backup plan when the first two security solutions fail you. A good backup can basically be used as a magic undo button. So if you have a disgruntled employee or somebody manages to somehow get back into your account, you're able to go back and restore to a time when nothing was wrong. Earlier, I talked about how sometimes we accidentally delete photos or third-party apps delete an entire product catalog. With a good backup, you can really restore your information in minutes. And at the end of the day, time is money. Downtime costs money. The faster that you can recover from crashes or mistakes, the less money you're gonna lose. So in case you're not entirely convinced that backups are essential, let's talk about why we at Rewind are so passionate about them. We often assume that because we're using cloud data, it's protected, but that's not always the case. Tools like Shopify and BigCommerce do back up their platforms, so if a meteor hits their servers or they have a major data breach, they have a plan of action. But when something happens to your store, they can't always help you when something small goes wrong. There's just too much data to make that feasible. It's not that they don't save your data, they do, but they only save it in a format that makes sense to them. 
In order for them to scale, they need to store your data alongside everyone else's, and that makes detailed restorations really difficult and frankly, not worth the time. Finding and recovering your store data is like looking for a needle in a field of haystacks. Think of it this way. You don't own the software, you rent it. You have no physical copy of that data. It gets tricky because you rely on that data in order to run your business, so you need to make sure it's safe. But because of this rental type model, tools like Shopify and BigCommerce expect you to be the one to take care of your data. If you rent a car, you're still responsible for making sure you have the gas and a map to get where you're going. They're just giving you the car. The rest is up to you. Data is the same way. This is called the shared responsibility model, and it's always present. Most companies will have a section about it in their terms of service or terms of use, and at the end of the day, the onus is on you, the user, to understand what data is at risk and how you can protect it. So the bad news is that disasters are inevitable, and it's on you to clean up the mess when they happen. The good news is Rewind protects you and your business. Back in 2015, Gymshark faced every e-commerce business's worst nightmare. Their store went down on Black Friday. Eight hours of the store being down resulted in close to $143,000 in lost revenue. They signed up for Rewind so that they knew if something went wrong in the future, they always had a way to patch things up quickly. We want to make sure that every business has that same peace of mind. So let's take a look at how Rewind makes backing up and restoring your data so simple. Welcome to Rewind Backups for Shopify. We automatically back up all your Shopify data, including products and images, themes, orders, collections, and many more. Mistakes and data disasters can happen to anyone, but Rewind can undo them in a click. After installing the Rewind Backups app and linking your account, your Shopify data is encrypted and securely stored in the Rewind Vault. If it's saved on Shopify, it's backed up here. To restore your Shopify data, select the items you want to restore, select the date you want to revert to, click Restore, and you'll return to a time when everything worked perfectly. Automated backups are scheduled every day, and you can also trigger a manual backup to cover a major change. If you need help, our friendly support team is here seven days a week. Whether you've got a quick question or need help recovering your data, We've got your back. Enjoy peace of mind with Rewind.